absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. The action has already started. Sterling. Looking up to see who wants it. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. Looks to slip it through. Gorgeous control there. Barkley goes looking. Maguire. Still a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Now it's Kane. Can't get the better of his opposite number. He's left his man. Rashford. Kane. Barkley. Played out to the wing. Rashford. Kane with a shot. Goal, England! England are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. England take the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And it's Rashford. Chip through. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Sterling. England are in control here on the brink of half-time. Stokes. So they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Rice and the volley. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Okay. And we've reached half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Some first-half thoughts. A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, son. It's paying dividends. England, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. So we're already into the second period. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. He's got away, flings it across, and the finish! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Beautifully done. Looking for a decent ball in. Oh, that's neat. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Delivers across. 
And it's hoisted clear. Played into the middle. And he's there to cut Romania it out. showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Pete, whistle's gone, that's a foul. And he is going into that little black book. Rashford. Kane! Gets it upfield. Out to the left it goes. The move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Tries a through ball. There are a few waiting for it. Barkley. Chance! He's had a shot! The world at his feet! Raheem Sterling! And that should do it! Within sight of the finish line. Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Romania, their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. England grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Could move up a gear here. Now the pass. Barkley, it's Barkley! Danger averted for now. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out wide to the right. Oh, delightful ball. Oh, he's in! Header! No mistake! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> Romania give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. There is the final whistle. England come out on top. Hard fought, impossible to predict. In the end, though, only the result mattered.